Hey, it's the Forward Playboy. And my Playboy is Bunny. And welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and sex, sex, sex. Today's topic She's Not Yours, It's Just Your Turn. Yeah. And there's no other phrase that doesn't cause more <laughs> havoc <laughs> and, and distress yeah. and arguments. Than this one in in our little world. In our little neck of the woods. But it's a universal thing that applies to you know, all relationships, either in the manosphere or you know in our little community and outside of it. And everybody kind of has their own definition. I mean, a lot of girls. I mean, anytime I've used this, and I use this phrase usually just as a filler. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Throw, because, again, we've seen it for a long time, but for a lot of guys, they've not seen it. Well, it's a filler, but it doesn't make it less true or less no, valuable of a lesson. No, lesson. no, You just see it, and then it becomes very, what would you say, um, common for you to see it, but you don't really kind of process it. Right, right, right. You know, but guys have, like, very strong opinions of it. Girls really push back against this. Absolutely. You know. Um, and let me, let me, let's do it this way. So, when you hear this phrase, what do you think? Me? Yes. What is your um, understanding of this phrase? Well, my understanding has always been that all relationships are transitory. Whether it's um, whether you are dating for a very short time, and so it's just your turn because you're not dating a long time, or it's just your turn because inevitably, unless you die together in a car crash or a plane crash or something quite literally one of you goes first so inevitably life is life is long and and whether it's a romance whether it's um, a business relationship or partnership whether it's friendships very often they just don't last forever and that's okay well, not all relationships are meant to last a lifetime. Some are just for a phase. So it's your she's not yours, it's just your turn to me makes perfect sense. Now, do you want me to give you like what most females probably look at? Yeah, let's let's hear that. Because that's why I was like, Because I've noticed <laughs> I've noticed a lot of girls push back against this. Yeah. But I it's a gray area that I don't understand, you know. Well, Okay, but that's why I was like, you want my? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, so what girls think when guys say this or when, you know, they're seeing it on the interweb is the equivalent of that meme that went through where there was a whole line of men fucking that one girl on the couch in doggy style. It's community property. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it sound like it's just your turn right now. It reveals some of the sisters of the secrethood, which is if you go through a bad breakup, likelihood is you may fuck three new guys in three days, or you may boomerang back to uh, a safe guy that you know will be good for sex or a quick relationship or whatever. It's just your turn for most girls when they see this phrase. It's highly offensive and volatile because it's true. Exactly. It reveals a little bit of the secrets. It's the se because it's the se make no mistake. It's the secrets that they don't even admit to themselves. Exactly. And they don't admit to the, their friends, and they don't admit, you know, to almost anyone. And they even deny it within their own brain. Yeah, yeah. You have to. I mean, I guess for some girls, and, and it's funny because like this, you hear this. Things that we know to be true, yeah. you'll have girls jump in and go, that's not true. <laughs> and it may not be true for them or their friends haven't told them this, Yeah. but these are not things that you would ever share. Right. But it's like Bunny says, you know, they shut it down. Right. You know, um, my assumption on this, and you know, when I first saw it, I said, well, that makes sense. But I first saw this, I was already 50. You know, oh, did so, you not see this phrase? No, I had never seen this phrase already? before. Yeah. Okay, so that's so, still like 35 years with girls. Yeah, and my idea, you know, my first assumption was it was to kind of help guys through a breakup. Yeah. You know, 
but in but the longer I've been around this, I realize how good it is for a basic assumption. It's definitely a good multi-level kind yeah, of consideration. Can, it is a coping mechanism it, if you need yeah, it. Yeah, it's how you, you know, it's not in guise of the romantics, you know, yeah. and, and they, they will emotionally invest into it overly sometimes. But when you're older and you've seen girls go through five, ten, fifty, been married three, four, five times, you know, you realize that the guy really is just taking his turn. Yeah. I mean, for just, and Buddy used a better word, which is transitory. Yeah. You know, but when you do know people from the age of like 15 and you see them go through boyfriends and then husbands and then boyfriends again. Yeah. And then maybe one husband that they've kept the last 15, 20 years. Yeah. It really is his turn. And also kind of when guys get all jacked up about a girl that's like, seeing other guys while they're dating and right. they're not exclusive you know right, right, but, right or they break up she sees some guys then comes back and he's all messed up about it well she was probably fucking somebody the week before you guys met right so you kind of have to keep that in mind that just her it's not like she's going to meet you and then that just stops her whole sex life. Yeah. It ends with you, you right, know. Right, it's right, right. Like, and I think a lot of guys, that's how they, they think. It's like 80% of them probably go, well, she would never have sex with another man. Yeah. Ever. You know, when or like with widows, they give it a two, three year period. And then they, you Well, know, they need that male energy. Yeah. You know. So I really do believe, you know, it's a good, what do they say, 10,000 foot view yes. of how relationships actually are. Yeah. You know, because when you're in them or you only see your own, you know, it's very present and permanent and then it's gone. You know, and it yeah. messes people up. And so I that's would, where I Yeah, come. and I would say if you need proof of this, truly do, just open Facebook. Because if you if you are friends with anyone that let's say you went to high school with You've seen girls that you've known for a lifetime, let's say, go through boyfriends. She posts boyfriends, then she posts husband, she posts boyfriends, and then, you know, on and on. And that's just the ones she considers serious. That's not everyone. But if you consider that you've known this girl, let's say, for argument's sake, she, she was 15. And you can name five guys that she's dated, one guy that she was married to, and that's just you. Think that there are probably at least three times that many that you don't know about. And that's probably pretty accurate. Yep. I mean, that's, and that's just a normal person. Yeah. You know? But I also think it bears witness that I'm not sure, you know, there are so few relationships, let's call, let's say friendships, in our lives that are actually sustainable for a lifetime. And yet there's all this pressure that romantic relationships, just by the very nature of the type of, of relationship it is, that it's magically supposed to weather everything and last forever based on very little front-end information, you know, because at the beginning, everyone's just bringing their best self, and that's true whether it's a romance or a friendship. But there, no one, no one socially shames best friends for fall, you know, kind of growing apart. No one, no one socially shames, you know, and yet it's a huge kind of a, what like blemish on the human being for yeah you know changing yeah or people change exactly that's good but i thought we should touch on this because you see it float up yeah pretty regularly and there's always an argument about it absolutely you know? and it's funny and i think buddy put it best why girls really hate this phrase yeah there's so much 
you know, it touches on some of the deepest secrets. It's of the just that, yeah, that slut shaming thing yeah. that is so per, is so pervasive and hardwired. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you like this podcast, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and sign up for our email lists. Fort Worth and I each have an email list. Go to fortworthplayboy.gumroad.com and you will find his email list li listed there. Same with myplayboysbunny.gumroad.com. Both of our email lists, we try to uh, give you the best of what we've got with each email that we send. So if you are on that list, you are getting the best of the best and we sincerely appreciate you not only listening to this podcast and watching our other broadcasts that we put out on this channel, but also uh, respecting and appreciating our content enough to jump on our email list. So thank you so much for joining us today. If you like, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. We want you to win. Bye.